It's in the North Carolina Department of Transportation has finally awarded a contractor over a billion dollars to reconstruct a section of I-26. The project has been talked about for decades to add a major interstate through Asheville and north over the French Broad River. Now today, News 13's Taylor Thompson sat down with a DOT engineer and shows us what the process looks like going forward. The NCDOT has been discussing the best way to reconstruct the north section of I-26 here since 1989, and they've now finally awarded a contractor around $1.14 billion to do so. We're pushing 30 plus years. Why has it taken so long to get to where we are now? I think a lot of it has to do with public involvement and funding and the environmental backs of the project. It really is um, a complicated um, project. Construction engineer Nathan Moneyham says there were many challenges they faced when looking to reconstruct the north section of I-26, which is also the largest section. It covers the work from Haywood Road up to Broadway. It will construct new bridges across the French Broad River, separate interstate and local traffic on the existing Bowen bridges. Separating that traffic uh, will relieve a lot of the congestion issues we see in that area. It will also widen the section of I-240 to six lanes. Moneyham says it ultimately came down to three contractor options who presented the DOT with proposed designs and they awarded the bid to Archer Wright. What we will do over the next six months, you won't see construction going on, but a lot of engineers and a lot of staff at DOT and on Archer Wright's staff will be working together to try and find ways to uh, reduce cost. This process over the next six months is called optimization and refinement, which is all about finding ways to bring down the cost from 1.14 billion. What are y'all hoping to get it to? There's not a specific number um, that we're aiming for as much as we're just trying to make sure that we're being efficient with everything that we do. So at the end of the six month period, after we have vetted and evaluated all the changes and optimizations that we can make, uh, an agreement will be reached between NCDOT and Archer Wright for a new contract amount um, that will be less. If everything goes as planned, the completion date for this project is 2031, adding that you could expect to see early signs of construction in 18 months. And there is a possibility that within the next six months, if the DOT and Archer Wright aren't able to come to an agreement that lessens the cost of this project, the contract could be terminated. But the DOT says they feel confident they'll be able to come to an agreement and revise this contract to be able to begin construction. In Asheville, I'm Taylor Thompson, News 13.